Welcome to my introduction to Excel. In this first installment, I'm going to show you some of the great things that you can do with Microsoft Excel and why would you, you would want to learn how to use Excel. So I have here my YouTube video channel and this is my control page. You can see that I've made a lot of money on YouTube this month, $16 so far. Click on download report and then open the file. And here you can see the different files that YouTube gives me. I'm going to go to World Views and just clicking on it automatically opens an Excel file. I'm immediately going to save this file. And name it YouTube Views and I'm going to save it as an Excel workbook. And here's all the data that Excel is giving me. Now normally when you receive this kind of data you might laugh and say well what in the world am I supposed to do with all of this information? Excel makes this quite easy to deal with. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table. I'm going to highlight the into all of the data here. Click on Home. Format as Table. Pick the style I like. Click on it. Indicate that my table has headers. I'll show you how to do all of this in future episodes. And now my data is formatted in a more pleasant way at least. This date column isn't readable so I'm going to make this column a little wider so you can see the dates. In this format, this is called an Excel table, and in this format I can sort and filter the data so that I can find the information I'm looking for. For example, if I want to see when I had the most views, I could just sort this from largest to smallest. This also indicates that I have the most views in the U.S. region. So I can filter this to the U.S. And if I want to, again, I can sort it by date. Now I have a more useful table giving me data that I can begin to make sense of. If I don't like the formatting, I can move things around. So for example, if I want to put my date over here, I'm going to cut and insert my date over here instead. And I can use this table to create useful charts and graphs that help explain the data in more detail. For example, let's suppose that I'm interested in the views and the number of unique users by date. So I highlight the cells that I'm interested in, click Home, click Insert, go to the bar graphs, I'm going to do 3D columns like this. And instantly I have a chart. Now, I happen to like big charts, so I'm going to right click on this chart and move it. I'm going to create a new sheet, which I'll call Users, Users and Views. And now I have a useful chart and where views are shown in blue and users are shown in orange. I'm going to make it a little prettier by adding a title. And there are other ways of customizing this chart. This chart can be printed and I can save this entire spreadsheet to show to other people. Excel will do this and many, many other functions that are useful not only in accounting and finance, but many other areas of business, web enterprise, and throughout an organization, and even for personal use. The following Excel tutorial is going to provide you with more different tools that you can use so that you can prepare basic spreadsheets in Excel, interpret them, and keep track of data in a better way. If you find this video helpful, please click like and go on to the next video in the tutorial.